Hey everyone, this is Bacon, and welcome to Doc's rewatch of The Lord of the Rings. Hey everyone, it's Doc. Um, Bacon's already jumped ship. Um, he hates the movie even more than I do, and he thinks I'm stupid for doing this. But hey, um, we got to get our cathartic releases somehow. Um, so let's go ahead and pick up where we left off last time. We are at minute um, 737, um, and the montage, the opening montage, has finally ended, and we're actually getting started with the movie. Um, so uh, I'm going to go ahead and press play. Um, and here we are with our introduction to um, Frodo. Um, pretty good casting. And right off the bat, we're getting our introduction to Gandalf as well. Um, and, and basically our introduction to the Shire. This is our first um, glimpse of the special effects they used on the hobbits. Nor is he early. He arrives precisely when he means to. Remember that line? It's going to come up in my... <laughs> a few videos later, I'm going to talk about it. I don't know why I got it out of order in the blog, but... I don't begrudge that little bit of cheesiness. What news of the here? Um, and here we go. Here's the Shire. Um, well, what can I tell you? Life in the wide world goes on as much as it has this past day. Um, I, I really um, am going to be spending a lot of these videos, a lot of the time complaining about Peter Jackson, but we really have to give credit where credit is due. Um, he really, um, he really got this part um, nailed down. If, if you're reading the blog, this is going to be a little bit of out, out of order, but if you're just watching the videos, don't worry. Um, ignore everything I just said. That line, um, a wizard is never late, it's not in the book. And in general, I'm going to default to um, if you're changing something from, from the book, you really need to have a good reason to make a change, um, whether it's a stray line of dialogue or um, a character or something that's more integral to the plot, whatever it is. If you're making a change, you need to have a reason. Well, there's always going to be changes that need to be made when you're converting from uh, a book to a movie. Um, and, and so um, I'm gonna be kind of looking at each one of those changes. Why was it necessary? Was it necessary? Um, why do you, we think Peter Jackson thought it was necessary? Whatever it is. Um, but in this one case with the dialogue, I, I like the line. I think it's a very elegant line. Um, so much so that I've seen online where it's been credited toward, to Tolkien um, when, in fact, it was written by Peter Jackson and or his um, co-screenwriter. Uh, and I think it really captures um, who Gandalf is, uh, or at least one aspect of who Gandalf is, and his relationship to the hobbits, and just the playful nature of language that you get throughout Tolkien. And obviously, you're going to lose so much of the language um, in a movie rather than a book. Um, so I think it's a really nice addition and um, <laughs> we're going to have plenty of criticisms um, later on. So um, I, I'm happy that we're starting with something positive, again, ignoring the montage. So yeah, I think it, it just is saying that, you know, um, a wizard is not at the um, beck and call of time, but rather um, time is determined by the wizard. 
So that's it for this episode. We'll pick up where we left off next time. Um, hope to see you again.